Hello everyone! Now we have an enemies that can walk around the scene. But our enemies make no damage to our player. Let's give them ability to kill the player with a touch. First thing to do is to add a new collider to the player. It will be Box Collider 2D which we added to fit our character body. Just like that. It's not very interesting if our player just dies without any effect. I think he needs some blood splash too, so Cloud Enemy will not take offense. Duplicate Blood Splash Prefab by pressing Ctrl D combination and rename it to Player Blood Splash, for example. I will not make a lot of changes to this new prefab and just modify max particles value. Let's set it to 100, for example. And we have to change burst min and max values in the mission section too. Let's see what we've got. Not bad, but 200 will be more fruity, I think. Ok. The next thing we need to do is to add a new tag to our enemy. We're gonna use it for collision detection. Select the enemy clown prefab, click tag drop down menu and create a new tag named enemy. Save it and assign this new tag to enemy clown prefab. Now our enemy has its own tag. Ok. Now we are going to add some UI component. Click Create, UI and Text. Our text will show a simple sign Game Over. Let's position it in the center of the screen by clicking Rect Transform, Anchor Presets, then holding Alt and Shift together, click the central preset. After that, text appears in the middle of the screen. I'll change the alignment to center and font size to 50. After that, our text disappeared, because it doesn't fit its rect. By setting horizontal and vertical overflow to overflow, we can get it back. Put it a bit higher in y direction. Make it bold if you like to, and I'll give it more dramatic color. It's game over after all. Ok, next component is a restart button. Create it and name it. As we did it with Game Over text, place it to the center of the screen. Anchor presets, Alt plus Shift and click Center. Ok, it's in the middle. Button has a child object which is text. Let's select it and change its value to Restart. We may change its color too and make a font size bigger. Also, we can change the color of the button itself. Let it be tint of green. OK. Button gonna need a script. Let's add one and name it Restart Button Script. Put it in script folder and open it in mono develop. First we need to add a new library at the top of it using Unity Engine Management. Also we need to add a new public void method and call it restart scene. There is going to be only one string. Scene manager dot load scene and name of our scene which is scene 01. Save the script. Select to start button in hierarchy and proceed to unclick method section in button script. 
hit the plus button, then little circle to open object selection window and choose our restart button here. Close this window, click function drop down menu, proceed to restart button script option item and choose restart scene method. Now when restart button is clicked, scene is reloaded. Let's check it out. It works. Now we are ready to modify our player control script. First we need to add a new public game objects. It will be game over text, restart button and blood. Then in start method, game over text and restart button gotta be disabled, cause we need them only in game over state when player is got killed. Next thing to do is to add a void on collision enter 2D method. In this method we are gonna check if player is touched by an enemy. So if equals enemy Then set game over text and restart button to active state. Instantiate player blood splash. set this current player game object to inactive state because it's dead. We can't destroy a player game object in this case because our main camera uses it as a target. If we destroy player game object here, then there will be an error and Unity will start to worry about it and send us a lot of warnings in console. Ok, save the script. Now in player control script component there are new fields appeared. Game over text, restart button and blood. Drag and drop the corresponding game objects to these slots. Text to game over text slot, restart button to restart button slot, and player blood splash to blood slot. Let's hit play and see the results. Game over text and button are disabled in the beginning, and if enemy touches the player, game over sign appears and restart button is ready to restart our scene. Well, everything seems to be working fine. Thank you for watching, see you next time.